Hi, my name is Brendan Robinson. I'm a recent graduate of Florida State University's Information Technology Program, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can create an updated Windows XP installation by way of slipstreaming and install it from a USB flash drive. So why would you want to do this? First off, the installation time from a USB drive is significantly quicker than a CD-ROM drive. Um, perhaps you don't have a CD-ROM drive in your computer or the computer that you're going to be installing Windows on. Uh, perhaps you don't have any blank CDs, or maybe you just want to do it so you can have an unintended installation. If you don't know what unintended means, it means you can put all the information in beforehand, such as the CD key, username, computer name, uh, time zone, anything like that. So during the installation, you don't have to make any interaction with the setup. This will be automated. Or lastly, maybe you just want to have the most updated version of Windows with uh, all the latest updates, your favorite programs preloaded into a Windows install just to keep on hand as a backup so in case your computer does go down, you don't have to take all the time to catch it back up to date. Lastly, uh, what do you need? Well, obviously a computer, uh, a USB flash drive of at least one gigabyte minimum. Um, uh, Windows XP CD, doesn't matter what service pack, what version, um, with a valid key. Uh, then you'll have to download a program called Enlight. This is the program that allows you to do all the slipstreaming and make any tweaks and create the unintended install. You also need any Windows update packs and service packs. You can get the service packs from Windows as well as the updates. But if you don't feel like downloading each individual update, if you go to this website listed here, there's every so often people will release a pack with all the latest Windows updates in it so you can just download one file and slipstream that and finally you'll need a program called Win Setup from USB and this will take the image you created in Enlight and allow you to transfer it to a USB drive and make it bootable now for instance if your BIOS does not allow you to boot directly to a USB drive there is a way around that you can download a free boot manager I've listed one right here which is very simple to use you can put it on a CD or a floppy drive you tell the computer to boot to either the CD or the floppy it will come up with a boot manager screen and you can select then to boot from the USB drive alright so to begin you'll have to copy the contents of the Windows XP CD somewhere on your hard drive um, I think just copying it to the desktop is easiest. So to do that, you'll right-click on the CD-ROM drive in my computer, paste it, or just right-click and hit paste, and then you should get a folder with a similar name to that. So after you've done that, you'll want to go ahead and open up Enlight. So once Enlight's open, you'll get a welcome screen like this. You can go ahead and click Next. It'll bring you to, it'll ask you where the Windows folder is that you're going to be working on. So go ahead and click Browse, and we'll click on the folder, and click OK. It'll uh, read the folder and show any details. It should show that it's Service Pack 2, since that's the version of Windows we'll be working with, and it does. So go ahead and click Next. Then it'll bring you to where you get to choose the options. Um, you can integrate service packs, which is what we'll be doing, so we'll click that. Um, you can do any hot fixes, Windows add-ons, anything like that, so we're going to be doing that. You have the ability to slipstream drivers, so all your hardware is working right off the bat. We're not going to do that, though. Um, you can slipstream any, or remove any components that you want from Windows, make it a smaller installation file. Um, the options for an unattended setup, which I explained earlier, so we'll be doing that. Um, any options? This is minor things. We're not going to be really doing anything with that. And then the ability to make small tweaks. I'll show you a few things you can do. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that, though. Then a bootable ISO. If you were going to burn that to a CD, you could do that. But since we're going to be mounting it on a USB drive, we won't have to do that. So the first step is slipstreaming the latest service pack. So you see we have SP2. So we're going to select a new service pack it will come up with a pop-up saying you know if you want to do a new service pack any hot fixes will be removed from this setup but that's okay because we're going to be adding in new hot fixes anyways so you'll click OK and you'll browse to the service pack 3 file which you downloaded from Microsoft Microsoft XP 
and then the service pack 3 folder and then click on the file and hit open alright so it'll go through a whole process this process can take 5 to 10 minutes for it to slipstream service pack 3 so a few moments later after it's done with all that it'll be at the same screen you can go ahead and you can click next So then you'll come to the add-ons hotfixes page. So I've already downloaded one update pack from the site I mentioned earlier. So this is all I'm going to add on to this Windows. It, should, it has a lot of updates. So I should be pretty up to date with this service pack or this update pack. So go ahead and just drag it into the window and close that and then you click next. You can add on any application stuff like that that you can find out there. People have custom made. You can even make your own.